Hey guys, this is Razor from Razor's Edge. Today we're taking a first look at Vigilantes. This is from a developer, Time Slip Softworks, and they actually have a few titles. The most recent titles on Steam, you can check it out. Actually, if you click on, uh, I believe it's on other games, it'll take you right to the uh, forum, the Steam forum page. This will take you to the Steam. It'll take you to the Steam list, the store. That'll take you to the forums. There's the credits in here. But the premise of this game is basically you're a vigilante, and uh, it holds true to the classic turn-based strategy of the '90s. Kind of reminds me of XCOM, but uh, with a whole lot more. Um, you've got base building in here where you set up your team of vigilantes as you gather them. Um, it does have pop-up screens as you play to go through the gameplay. Um, I will note that before the stream, I uh, had an issue where uh, right-clicking, uh, or actually, I kept loading to my left monitor. So I posted on the forums, and within I don't know 20 seconds, I had an answer from the dev. So he is looking for issues with the game since it was just released today. That's a plus. And that's the only thing I had, and actually to go around that, you just hold the Alt key down and launch the game from the Steam menu, not the icon on your desktop. That's going to pull up properties, and it'll give you the pop-up box, and you can actually change the resolu resolution and select the monitor of your choice from there. So... Anyway, on the features, you got deep tactical turn-based combat. You've got Overwatch, which is sort of like the XCOM feel I had, where if you've got a squad uh, and there's an opportunity for an attack, they'll gain an action or reaction to the enemy's moves. There's all types of weapons in this game, hand-to-hand -hand combat. And it truly does touch the spirit of the, the 90s uh, turn-based strategy games. Uh, so... I'm going to let you be the judge of it. I'm going to dive in here. It does have a lot of dialogue. I'll play a few of the cutscenes and we'll go through some of the pop-ups just to show you how detailed it is. It does explain the game quite in detail. Now, I don't have a lot of game time in this yet, but I definitely plan on playing a lot more of it. So let's cover some of the options. Basically, once you're in the game, um, like I said, the, you, you can change the resolution, resolution and monitor out external to the game. But these are your game options. You can basically change your camera rotation. I'll go over the keys. You can turn the tutorial off if you don't want those pop-ups. Um, you can show the uh, frames per second if you want to. Um, subtitles, you can turn them off or turn them on. Under audio, you can actually adjust the music, you can adjust the sound effects. I've got the sound effects full blast and the music about where I want it to go with my recording. Key bindings, you can change any of these that you want. Go to your heart's desire. So we'll be referring back to this since I've only done a real quick playthrough. And uh, with that, we'll skip back. So I'm going to go ahead and start this. It actually uh, will load you in. You can select difficulty. We're going with soft bold because uh, we're, we're a newbie. Now you can go through and you can select the different skills that you want. Or you can go with uh, the um, melee build or a, uh, a range build. So I kind of like the range build. You don't start out with range, but... We're going to do a range build because I love weapons. You can see here, here's the pop-up boxes that come up. Nine pages of explanations of, of the just character stats right there. So, a um, lot of information. I mean, it more than covers all the details of what all these are. As far as action points, um, what all these features are. And then basically, once you get get all that done, of course you're Sam uh, Contino, and uh, you don't have the option to change that, but that's part of the story. If your name, <laughs> and there are a lot of humorous anecdotes uh, in this, uh, which we may or may not see. I saw in my gameplay that made me laugh. So, 
Anyway, we're going to click on start the game and then we'll get some cutscenes and I'm going to let these play. It began as a no rabbit holes in sight Saturday afternoon in Riker. A final item for a skiing trip I'd never get to take. An unfamiliar cut through the quiet side of town to slip the bustle. Then came the scream. Carried on wings of adrenal edge. Lurid as a pulp anthology. And utterly genuine. I took the corner, walked right into the tail end of violent mugging. Scald of panic, something chill uncoiling in my gut. A detached, ironically inclined part of my brain bugging me about how this would make one hell of a tourism poster. Come to Riker, bring a bodyguard and a machine gun. I wanted to walk, keep moving, pretend I hadn't seen. I couldn't. I still don't know why. Maybe sympathy? Maybe contempt for the hood's world of cheap violence? Maybe it was about ideas and the things we humans owe one another. Either way, it amounted to the same. Another idealist lining up to have his ticket punched. Blood thundering, hand balling to a fist. Not empty, but gripping something pliant, textured. Something unconsciously removed from its wrapping. Something bought for a skiing trip I'd never get to take. The more introspective of my friends, the ones who shared the days of carnage and pain, had been known to remark on the synchronicity of the moment, the mask, the man, and the things that came after. Significant was in how it felt at the time. Wool-catching stubble, stifling breath that was already hard to come by as someone else's hand tugged the mask down over my face. Not going to lie, tell you how calm and ready I was, because I'd also have to warn against believing the words of masked strangers. So that really shows you the anger that this uh, main character has. And just some of that 90s look and feel in the story. And you do get actions and responses. There'll be dialogue in here. And then, of course, you get these tutorials. Um, we're just going to close those and we're going to wing it. Um, just based on what I found out already. So, But they are there. And they do. They walk you through every step on how to crouch and different moves. Um, the mouse button will scroll in and out. And the, if you press the Q and the E key, you get a nice uh, 360 panoramic view of the, the combat in action. So we're going to go for a side view. Alright, so we get some dialogue in here. You can read through that. And you can either use presence, which is like a threat, or you can just refuse to leave. Oh, just lowered their morale because they know how bad I am. All right, so then based on those responses, you get what's called a tactical repositioning. So we can actually reposition our character just by right clicking in within that field that it gives you. Then the action actually begins here. Now here's your action points down here at the bottom. Uh, Overwatch is what I talked about earlier. It does require a specific amount of APs, and it does explain how many points that is. So we, we already got a guy over here crouching. I think maybe they were beating him up, so we're, we're here to kick their butts. Um, you can either kill your opponents, or you can use... Uh, oop, we went into Overwatch. I'll show you how that works. So you can see I responded automatically to his attack. And he, of course, makes his move. And now we get our move immediately because he ran out of points. So we have some points back. We don't even have to end the turn. So we're going to go in here. We're going to... Because... <clears throat> excuse me. When you use your Overwatch, that actually ends your turn for you. Or you do it over here with the end turn. From here, you can actually access your character screen. And just hit the playback. And you can access, you can access your inventory. So we do have a lethal weapon here. 
Uh, we, yeah, that doesn't go in the armor slot. So we do have a med kit. We have six of those, 24 bullets and a pistol. So let's go ahead and click back here. And to just change whatever weapon you're going to use, it's right here. Since we're, we're in melee range, we're going to go with that right now. And I can actually change my melee attack just by right... I believe, hold on, let me check. Yep, right here. I can do a haymaker, which is like a roundhouse kick. Or a light attack. Or just a basic attack. And it's all based on your skill level, what success. So we're gonna, let's go ahead and we'll do a haymaker on this sucker. And it's just left click, of course he evaded me. Cause I'm ranged. <laughs> As you can see, I'm out of action points. See if I can do anything here. I can crouch for one IP AP, so we will do that, and then we'll end our turn. Ow. Smack in the face. Kick in the nads. Oh. I like that mask. All right, so that ended their, their turn. Now I can use the W and the S key to actually move in and out so you can see here the way you get a good view all right let's go for this guy we're just gonna go with a normal attack we're not gonna try anything special a left click smack him in the head oh he got me around that first one all right we got how many points we got nothing left so we're gonna have to end our turn let them take a shot nice try sucker ah whoa look at them moves man Alright, so now we've lost one action point through our evading. That's alright. So we're just still gonna go with that standard attack. We're gonna hit we're gonna focus on this guy. Protect me from the wolf. Oh lord. So I think his morale's dropping. Alright, so we're gonna have to end our turn again. Our hit points were displayed over there. We got 19 of 30. We can use a med kit if we get too low. We just try to haymaker and with the air. Ah, oh, good night. <laughs> now I can use an action point, but we're, we're going to keep hitting here. So I've got three left. I'm going to go into it. I think I have enough for Overwatch. Yep, there we go. Oh. Alright, now we're going to finish this guy off. Out he goes. So now you're talking to Doc, and you'll interface with him quite a bit. And then I want to show you the base. So you get the victory. You get an option here. You can uh, search the area, and we'll do that. So it looks like we got a suspicious vehicle and uh, item cache not found. So we'll take that. Shit. Yeah, now you can shit. skip the cutscenes here. Uh, and I don't want to spoil all the story for you. So, closing this out, we don't need that. The map's going to take you to the very next encounter. Um, here's where you go through and you can assign your, your uh, more skills as you level up. There's our level progress right there. Here's our all of our drive stats, core stats. Um, and here's our cash flow. So if I click on this, this actually takes you to the character screen, which you're in now. The box actually takes you to your inventory. And as you can see here, you've got several here. You can filter out if you're looking sp for a specific item. I just click on the box and that shows me everything. So th this is what I have. And close that again. I can sleep away some time. Or I can go get first aid if I'm beat up. Now you can sleep and, and recover your health and you can do that as well. Uh, just go see a doc. Um, and I believe I, it's not showing it here. I guess we have to do one more mission and I get the, the base. Uh, that just takes it. And you can load and save at any time. Should, should mention that as well. Um, there is a store where you can buy items. And there's also your base. I don't think, I think we have to go further in the story though. So we'll do that. 
So in this scene, basically, it's going to cover firearms and talk about um, Overwatch. But since we already know what those are, let's just go ahead and let, let's pick our uh, position so we're going to get an advantage on him. We've got three action points. Let's just go into... We're going to change our weapon out. We're going to go with range. And we're going for the kill. And that gives us one point so we can crouch with that. And we'll end our turn. And he's going to run up. Nice try. Alright. So let's uh, take this guy out in close range right to the face. Good night. Not enough AP, but I got enough for Overwatch. So I'm going to hit Overwatch. Oh! Takes more than three in this one. Okay. That's fine. Let's see what he does. Now, I probably should have healed up before I went into this, but I didn't. Alright. We want to get this guy. We got, we got to get rid of this guy. So I'm going to go ahead. We still got rounds. You reload here. It tells you how many action points. Uh, you can switch your attack type at any given time. You've got a snap round. Here's where you actually select your heal kit. Or you can go back to a melee. We're going to go ahead and we're going to pop this guy off. Hopefully we hit. There we go. We can get rid of him. And let's see if we can get... Oh, nope. We're going to have to... I don't know if I can get another shot off or not. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Nope. All right. So we're going to have to... Uh, let's do a med kit and the intern. See if we can get some of that back. Oh, that hurt. All right. And we're not going to do anything but shoot. Ooh, can't shoot with that. Alright, we're still in kill mode. And let's layer right click. Boom. So she's 3 of 8. Can we use Overwatch? No. But we're going to get into a crouching. Oh, we were already. <laughs> Alright, it's in our turn. Yeah, miss me. Maybe you should have took a career in accounting. I agree. Finish her off. Good night. Alright, so we've rescued our victim here. He's no longer being tortured. Get some more uh, dialogue there. Let's see now. So now you meet Kuda. It's another character in the game. And we're going to get the same thing. We can scan the area. I need to find out more about that. I know it explained that. I think we keep them though. Those are actual... Um, yeah, those are actual. We're passing up. We're just keeping the storm drain. So there's another cutscene here. September 2016. And they, they are long, but they do paint a really good story. Let's see. We didn't get any uh, level up, so... But now we have access to our facility. So now let me show you the rest of this. Here's your actual base. So within here, you can upgrade using your points. Um, you've got the option of a... Looks like a mechanical area. And it does... Exp it fully explains all these up in the box up here at the top. Um, let's, let's go back to the beginning. So facilities cost money. We know that. So you've got the workshop. I take it that's that icon there. You've got the library that researches uh, more uh, surveillance, present, persist, presence, and trade skills. You've got the gym where you can work on your hand-to-hand -hand combat. You've got your firing range for your weapon. And you got your surgery so you can start doing your own medical on your own. So let's see if we can afford any of this. Let's click on the upgrade. Nope, that one's 10000 Let's see what that one cost. Yeah, it looks like they're all about the same, 10 k Oh, I think we did. Did we? Did we upgrade? 
I'm confused. Oh, okay. So we got the workshop. We can actually, with uh, these uh, components, we can make... And here explains how to make items. We can actually make our own components here. I don't know what blam is. I assume that's some kind of ammo powder. Probably click on it and it explains to you. And uh, if you have the right items, you can hit the craft here. And items you're unable to craft. So this is what we know about. And this that's what we don't know about. And this is what we know. So bullets and med kits. We don't have any of these components. So let's go ahead and close that out. Let's do one more fight scene. This is actually progressing one further than I went through when I started this. Let's see, what's our health? Um, I don't know if, oh, we're 32 of 32. So I think this is where the action really begins. And eventually you'll probably, once you understand it, you're gonna wanna turn that off when you go in. So let's load into the next encounter. Oh, this is different from the one I did. I did do one more, but this is completely different. And probably a lot harder. <laughs> and check and make sure there's no dialogue responses, because sometimes that can actually affect the outcome. See, like that. Distracted. We got 70% re-tactical. Let's go over here and take up a nice firing position behind that. And we'll end. And they start coming out. Alright, let's go with our pistol. We're already crouched. Alright. See if we can use Overwatch. That'll get cheaper over time. Uh oh, he's got a weapon. Luckily, he's on our side. If you notice, we now have two in our squad. So, this is showing you a dual squad unit. Let's go ahead and uh, pop off a few rounds into this guy. Not too good of a shot. Yet. We'll work on these guys. Oh, he's already in cover. Okay. Now I get a shot off at him. I'm a horrible shot. Oh, he's going with a... What's he got? Oh! That was not nice. Oh, nice. Right in the face. Not enough AP. Yeah, we're going to have to end the turn on him. And I'm going to go ahead and fire off around. Oh, nice. Nope. Oh, evaded. Haha, <laughs> right there. This looked easier on YouTube. <laughs> I saw that one before. That made me laugh. Alright, so we're going to take another shot. Maybe we can finish him off right there. Victory. Let's see what we get. These are new missions. Alright, so good. We did get that one back. That's a good encounter. That was a trivial one. That's actually the one I did last time. And we we just we're gonna keep these, so we're gonna go ahead and hit play. I was relatively sober. And you get more storyline, right. which I don't want to spoil for you. Now we got squads. We got a team. So we got our first crew member. Take a look at that here. We can start to get a storyboard of the different gangs. There are four different gangs in this game. You can start to gather intelligence on them. And we can continue to craft and upgrade our base. Of course, we haven't gotten any more money, so... 
But I mean, there's a lot to this game. And by the way, it's on sale, ten percent off on Steam. It's like ten bucks. Um, the storyline, I watched every clip, every cutscene. It was really good, just as good as the first one. Um, very detailed. Um, I, I'm in, I'm enjoying it, but it's really ultimately up to you. And hopefully, I've did the, the done the publisher good. Uh, Time Slip Softworks is the publisher and the developer. So uh, go check them out on Steam. I'm going to put all the information down in the links. And uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. If you want to see more of this gameplay and more tactics uh, on how I'm doing, um, let me know because uh, I plan on uh, playing this through because these are fun. I, I played all the XCOM, a lot of the turn-based uh, games um that you know back in the 90s that were all turn-based and now like fallout that's all become like real-time first person but sometimes being an old guy like me we like going back to these games we kind of uh grew up with so anyway uh you've been watching vigilante and this is uh or vigilantes and this is razor from razor's edge until next time i'll see you when i see you you guys take care